Hi everyone, Dr. Campbell here with another real world coding scenario. And today we're gonna go on over to the musculoskeletal section. So today we have a patient that has a displaced femoral neck fracture. And let's highlight that. One of the things that you may find beneficial when you are in the learning stages of coding is to highlight what happened and why. That's going to help you ensure that you are really tuning in to your patient's condition as well as the procedure that was performed to resolve the condition. So at this time, they really don't know um, why this person has this fracture, but they know that surgical intervention is most certainly needed. So the procedure that they plan to perform, and notice I said plan to perform, you don't really know what they did until you see it documented in the body of the report. So the procedure that was performed was a monopolar hemiarthroplasty. So hemi means half, arthro joint, plasty repair. And this is actually a fancy word, guys, for a, a, a joint replacement. <laughs> All right, so the components that were implanted, that's important is a number eight low demand femoral component, 46, the monopolar mono head. And that's what they were talking about up here. So let's highlight that because we want to make sure we don't forget that. All right, so after um, the patient was given the anesthesia, that's the beginning of the report that you're always going to see. The patient's going to be prepped and draped in the sterile fashion. So the report then goes on to talk about how the right hip was then addressed. A Harding type approach was created, sharply dissecting through the IT band, reflecting the abductor rotator group from the greater trochanter, followed by blunt dissection anteriorly about the capsule. The capsule was preserved and incised with a T type manner, and the hip was dislocated, noting the area of the fracture. Here is very important um, to note that this was an open procedure. At this point, you don't see that any type of endoscope or arthroscope was utilized. So there was no gross evidence of any pathological premise for the fracture. Let's pause. Why is that? What he's saying is there is no disease that seems to be responsible for this fracture. Remember, they said they don't really know how this patient got this fracture. That was noted at the top. And so, but I do question the inferior aspect of the neck, the possibility of a stress fracture, but given the granulation of the tissue type, which suggests early healing, my attention was then directed toward the placement of an intramedullary um, alignment device, followed by femoral neck osteotomy, followed by sequential reaming and rasping to receive an eight femoral component. Trial reduction, so they reduced the fracture, was then obtained with the femoral co component, neutral neck, and then a 46 mm monopolar component. The joint was stable throughout its arc of movement and with no noted pistoning, the trial components were removed. Once the joint was reduced, cement restrictor placed deep, Polymethyl, methylcrylate implanted, permanent components were then implanted, followed by removal of excess poly. The joint was reduced, the capsule was closed, they closed everything up, the sponge and needle count and all of that were correct. Again, uh, as you've heard me mention before, I recommend watching some type of YouTube video that will help you understand what the doctor was actually doing. So we're going to start off with coding uh, what happened today, which you know is our CPT code. And what happened was that the patient had a fracture of the um, right hip, right? And so they did this fracture repair procedure. So in the index of my CPT manual, I'm going to go to a main term of fracture because that was the service that was actually provided today. And under fracture, I'm going to go to my body part, which was noted as the femur. 
All right, so I'm at fracture, I'm at femur. Now, the next question that I have to consider, what additional subterms do I need to look at? Well, remember they mentioned it was the neck of the femur, so I'm gonna go with neck. And then also, I know my treatment was open, so I'm even gonna go to open, which tells me to look up 27236. Okay, so from there, 27236 is open treatment for moral fracture, proximal end neck internal fixation or prosthetic replacement. Well, that actually is in alignment with our report uh, because the patient had that number eight low demand for moral component. So then the next thing I wanna remind you about, so let's just go ahead and actually type in that code so we don't forget it. So that was 27236. And because this was on the right side of the body, I need to go ahead and do a modifier RT. The next thing I need to do is actually code my diagnoses, which we know was actually um, a fracture of the femur. So I'm going to go back to my code manual, and this time I'm going to be in ICD-10-CM, and I'm going to locate the fracture. And I know one of the questions that you probably are thinking is, how do you know what to pick up in the report, what not to pick up, and it's with practice. And the more operative reports you can code, the better you will become at it. When you're first learning, your number one goal is to beef up your medical terminology, your anatomy skills, um, making sure that you understand what's happening and why. All right, so under fracture, I'm gonna go to traumatic because remember, there we don't really know that this was a um, a pathologic fracture. Remember, he said he suspects, but he, he really doesn't know. And unfortunately, at this time, the patient is unable to tell us that. So under fracture and then traumatic, and that's important because there is a pathologic option, I'm then gonna go to femur. All right, and under femur, I wanna go to upper end. So I need to actually turn over to the next page. And let's see, here's the upper end. And it was the neck, and that's why it's important to highlight in the record. Under neck, none of these options apply base or specified. So we're gonna go with S72.00. Which takes me here. So now S72.00 and the sixth digit is related to, if it was right or left, we know it was right. So that's S72001. And then we need to have a seventh character. How do I know? There's actually a little check mark here that says check fifth, check six. <laughs> now I'm at S72001, check seven. So here are the seventh character digits for um, S72. And so here's the million dollar question. Was this fracture open or closed? The doctor did not say. And so it's coded as a closed fracture. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, it was an open treatment, so it's definitely an open fracture. Well, let's go back to um, our CPT manual um, because you, the guidelines are, are so critical. And in the um, beginning of the 
musculoskeletal section, it's actually noted that the type of fracture treatment does not correlate to the type of fracture. So my final code here is going to be, I'll just copy that on the end, uh, S72.001, uh-oh. All right, S72.001, and that's what happened and why. Thank you so much for listening.